everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you my entire Chanel collection. So if you're interested, do keep on watching. For those of you who are new here, my name is Amelia and I do videos on luxury and lifestyle. So if you enjoy these kind of videos, do consider subscribing, click on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future videos. So I've been wanting to do this for a while now, um, but I was waiting till I unbox this little guy over here so that I can do a massive uh, Chanel collection video for you, the updated one. I'm going to share with you when I got them, how I got them, and just little bits and pieces like stories of how I decided to get them in the first place. So I hope you have a copy of you because this will take a while and I can't wait to share with you my collection. So we're going to backtrack to the very first Chanel bag that I got. If you have not watched my luxury journey video, I'm just going to link it up over here. I mentioned that Chanel is my very first love. Prior to that, I was not interested in the luxury handbag realm at all. Um, I was carrying mainly Charles and Keith, uh, mainly ASOS bags, and I was never really interested in getting like designer bags in the first place until this bag launched and I really, really liked it. So that was the very first bag that I really wanted to get. So in that sense, I feel like Chanel was my very first love because Chanel was the first brand that really made me get into this whole designer handbag journey that I have going on. So yes. So the very first designer bag and also the very first Chanel bag that I ever got for myself was this little beauty over here. So this is the Chanel Boy. Uh, my version is in the, I believe this is gold skin, in the ruthenium hardware. And this is in the old medium size. I think after that, they actually changed the medium size to be a little bit, I'm not sure if it's larger or smaller to be very honest. Um, but I really, really like this bag. This was the very first bag that I saw and I really, really liked. So the Chanel Boys were actually launched in 2011. Um, back then, I think they had this size and they had like a bigger size. I feel like the mini size, which is the smaller size now, um, came after a few years later. So I really, really like this size because I thought it was excellent for everyday use. Uh, obviously, I have it stuffed. But inside, I have like a smaller bag organizer as well. This is great because you can shoulder carry this bag um, and you can also cross body this bag which I've done so many many times but in all honesty I have not been using this bag quite so much these days um, but I still really like it. I'm not sure if I'll ever get rid of it because simply because it's my very first one. Um, so yes, I really like the Routinium hardware back then and I think it just goes with the whole edgy. So I got this bag in Paris in November 2014 when I was visiting Paris for the very first time. I'm pretty sure that I got this uh, at Lafayette and it was on the very first day I went to Paris. It, I was like on a mission, okay? I need to get this bag. So I went to Chanel at Lafayette. I didn't even know that they had like the Rue Cambon store <clears throat> which is like their flagship store and I didn't really do research back then I must say but I knew I just really wanted this bag so that was what happened <laughs> I went to Lafayette to get this bag um, and I was so so happy with it and I've used it quite a bit ever since then so I got this in 2014 three years after they launched the bag so this is my Chanel boy. I feel like the Chanel boys are making a comeback somehow um, because everyone seems to be talking about it online right now um, but mainly the smallest version of this but I really I still really like the medium version the old medium so yes this is my very first uh, Chanel bag. I'm just gonna place it over back over here so that's that and then fast tracking like five years down the road. I actually went to Japan in 2019 around October. So as you all know Japan has a myriad of like vintage stores and particularly there is one that's very famous which is called Amore Vintage or Amore Boutique or something like that. It has like pink interiors. So I actually went there one day and I decided to pick up 
this beauty over here and I'm so happy about it. So this is my Chanel Vintage in Black Lambskin in the 24K Gold Hardware. Um, I love it. I really really like this bag. I was debating between um, this size and the medium size um, and I did some crossbody. If I can find the photos, I'll put them up over here. In the end, I decided to go with the small size. I feel like because the crossbody length is just a little bit better. I think the medium one sits a little bit higher so it's just a bit more cumbersome. So I decided to go with the small size and I'm really really very glad that I did. Um, I have only good things to say about the vintage bags to be honest. So in the store there are like a variation of bags and they have quite a few pieces of this. You can go around and like inspect them if you want. Some of them came with the authentication card, some didn't. So mine actually did come with the... oh my god. Let me just pull this out. So mine actually did come with the authenticity card. So I decided to get this version simply because if I ever feel like I want to get rid of it, I feel like people will look at whether you still have your authenticity card with you. So yes, I, I think other than that, it's just in, you know, it's very, very well used and I like it a lot. The only thing I can see that was bugging me a little was this like, inner flap over here it is like slightly pressed down but i feel like it was fine because it was very very symmetrical so i wasn't like super hard pressed on it and the price was so so good i believe the time i got this in 2019 it was like three ish three thousand ish so compared to the chanel prices these days like i think a small classic flap is almost 14 right now if I'm not wrong so that is that's just crazy amount of money okay for Chanel quality right now and they don't even have the 24k gold hardware plating come on <laughs> I just can't wrap my head around it but yes I'm very very glad that I got this so I got this in uh, Amore Vintage uh, in Tokyo in October 2019 so that's almost like five years after getting this one. So prior to that, I was just really, really good, which is why I also say that I've used this quite a bit. Like I really carry this out almost on every single occasion. Um, but I try to take care of it as well. So yes, that is my two black beauties over here. I knew I wanted the vintage gold hardware. So prior to getting this one i actually did a lot of uh, research on youtube about it and one of the reasons why i wanted to get this one is because this was uh, around my birth year it was like 1989 like thereabouts so i really wanted something around that era specifically on the year itself but you know it's just a year range they don't know specifically when uh, because it's hard to tell so yeah, that's why I got this. I feel like Emma Hill on YouTube here actually inspired me to get this. She also owns like a vintage uh, classic flat and she loves it. And I think I really fell in love with the, you know, the whole vintage look after that as well as the 24K Go hardware. So that's the story behind this one. Okay, so the next pair I got was actually during COVID. Um, we were all stuck in our countries and we couldn't travel because if you ask me, I still feel like if you buy it like overseas and you're able to get some tax back rebate on that, that will be great. But because we were all stuck in Singapore, it's hard to travel. I decided to use some of my travel funds to channel towards um, buying bags. And this one, I actually got it in store here in Singapore. Um, in October 2020, I believe, or was it November? Somewhere around that period of time and I knew I wanted the beige one. I have no idea why I decided to get the beige one but I knew it was so so pretty. I was sort of influenced by Amelia Liana on YouTube because she also has this exact version and I was like oh my god this bag is so pretty. So the Chanel 19s were actually released in March 2019 and I think ever since it was launched I didn't really talk to it 
that well at first um, I feel like this one you really need to go into store to try it and it just grows on you like it just looks so nice uh, carried and it's so functional as well and so after seeing Amelia Liana having this I feel inspired to have it in beige as well because back then I was just really boring I feel like bags it, it's this kind of color is a bit hard to maintain but I think I was ready to like pull the plug on like a light colored bag as well so this was the one that I got I got it from the Chanel MBS store um, yes initially I thought that this bag was like also a crazy amount of money like in the five digits until I met my friend Ross and I was like oh my god I love your 19 bag it's so pretty like I back then I never really like looked at the website I have no idea why I feel like it's a good thing as well if not I would have been tempted by a lot more other things but I only browsed through Vestier and I saw them selling this for like almost five digits all the time and I was just like that's simply too much to pay for like a bag that I don't know whether it has longevity in Chanel at all so until I met my friend Ross and she was telling me that she got hers in store for like almost 3k less than what was advertised on Vestier and I was so shocked I never knew back then that Chanel in store is much cheaper than the resale market because I always thought that um, in store will be more expensive and pre-love will be not as expensive but somehow it's just the other way around for Chanel for some reason I feel like this has something to do with like supply and demand so in store is cheaper and then especially if you get the bags that are you know like classic and people are looking for it you can sell it for much higher on the pre-love websites or pre-love market so I decided to get this in store because it, I, I believe this was also right before a very big price increase so back then they didn't do price increases that much but I really really like this one uh, this is in beige goat skin in gold hardware actually I think it's like mixed metal hardware but the the Chanel CC's in front here are in gold um, so I really really like this version I prefer this version to the the one that has silver in front so yes this is my Chanel 19 in beige and because I like the 19 style so much I decided to get this in tweed as well this tweed was so beautiful so the story about this is I was looking for this particular tweed in like the Chanel minis because I saw it on an image I've always wanted a Chanel mini in tweed so I was just browsing through and I saw this particular tweed that I really really like um, Chanel has a lot of tweeds and they are known for their tweeds so that's why I knew I always wanted a tweed bag specifically in the mini size however they don't have that and it was all sold out I believe only three came into store in Singapore so my SA actually put out this uh, exact tweet in the 19 style and I really really like it as well I thought it was just a little bit more fast free so this tweet is more of the tight knit tweets uh, rather than the looser tweets that you see that sometimes Chanel can have so I feel like it's just harder to snack on like tightly put tweets and I love the fact that this is in blue and like it has all these colors it has pinks and like whites running through it because i wear jeans quite a lot so i feel like this one won't transfer as easily and i've really honestly carried this out so much so this one i actually got in january 2021 so about a couple of months after this one i decided to pick this one up as well this is also in the gold uh, cc hardware here and I just really really like the 19 style so I actually got like a smogger bag organizer for this so because both of my 19s are in the small size I just interchanged the uh, contents here from the bag organizer into that one so that I don't really need to like move the contents around as well so yes and then we have the back pocket here which I also normally stuff things inside so I really really like the tweets. I was this close to getting it in the black but I only want it in black lambskin because I have the gold, I have the tweet, I just want it uh, in lamb because I 
I think the lamp is just so so gorgeous but maybe not right now simply because I'm in the Hermes game but in future I'm thinking of adding this in the black lamp skin as well. I feel like this bag is very very versatile and I will highly recommend it if you're looking at a Chanel bag to buy. That's not a classic flat. Okay, we have a couple more bags to run through so I'm just going to like speed up this process. So the next bag I got, I got it in March 2021 and it's none other than this Chanel Coco handle. This is in Chevron in caviar in this uh, off-white color and then it has the matte gold hardware as well with the you know the handle so this is in the new mini size and i really like it i actually got this on uh, carousel from this seller that didn't want this so i actually got her for a really good price as well i was searching for a coco handle specifically in chevron and i want it in like white as well so inside has my stuffing and the bag organizer this bag still smells so good i love it so much i think the previous owner really really took care of it there isn't like any scuffings at the side as well i don't typically carry this out um i only carry it out if i'm like i know i'm just going for light shopping or going for high tea etc then i will bring this bag out because I think she's so pretty. I got inspired to get this bag or I started searching for this bag because Tamara has a version of this as well and she really really likes it. So I was hunting high and low for this bag and I managed to find it on Carousel or a miracle but yeah I really like this bag as well. So this is my only cocoa handle in my collection. And then after that I felt like I wanted a denim bag because denim was super popular um, I was just searching around or googling around for like Chanel denim bags in 2021 I was actually very much into vintage I started amassing my vintage collection uh, in 2021 if you have not seen that video I'm going to link it up over here where I talk about my entire vintage uh, luxury bag collection so I was hunting for a Chanel one specifically uh, and I didn't really want new ones because they're just a little bit expensive for like I don't know for denim so <laughs> I decided to search on the pre-love market to see what kind of denims actually came out um, prior okay my camera died and I'm not sure where I left off but the next bag that I want to talk about is essentially this denim uh, flap this is a seasonal flap I believe it's from 2017 or 2018 i'm not entirely sure but if i know i will leave it on the screen below so this bag i actually got it on vestier i hunted for it i got it in july 2021 this is my only chanel bag with silver hardware and it has this really gorgeous like denim camellia uh, pattern on it i've attached like this uh Samoga pearl handle as well i believe it's the same specs as like a medium classic flap it's just that it's a little bit thinner and it's obviously made of fabric and then inside is just a flap and i got like a organizer for it as well for those of you who don't know i actually have a samoga code so if you quote amelia 20 you'll take 20 percent off your samoga orders so yes uh, i'm going to leave it on the screen and yeah, I really really like this bag. I don't really take this out very often and the straps are a little bit hard to adjust so I've given up and I just like left it as such. So I attached this strap so that I can carry it as like a you know like a top handle and then this one is like a crossbody and then I'll place the pearls behind so that it doesn't affect the look of it. I really like this bag but I'll be very honest and say that the straps are a little bit cumbersome i must say it doesn't pull very well i'm not entirely sure why like i haven't really like figured it out properly but i think it's because it's attached really really weirdly like on this like straps over here so i think that's one reason why but it's very spacious and you can put a lot of things in it so this is my only chanel denim flap and i'm very happy with it i don't think i'll ever get another one i uh i was inspired to get this after watching this girl on youtube opening like her version her denim flap as well so i was hunting for it 
Yep, that's the story behind this little guy. I believe out of all the bags, this is the only one that I got from Vestier. I have not got it authenticated. Um, did it come with an authenticity card? I don't think this came with an authenticity card. And even if it did, I don't know where it is. <laughs> Although I have like receipts in this bag. I honestly don't see any reason why people will replicate this bag because it's not considered a very popular bag. Usually the fakes and replicas are like of the very popular bags. So yeah, I can get it authenticated one day but I'm pretty sure this is authentic. So yes, let's put it there. So moving on, I've talked about this bag and it's my holy grail bag. I feel like this bag is my most precious bag in my entire collection. So it's none other than my Chanel Pearl Mini. It looks like that for those of you who have not seen it. I've done a whole video about it. I'm going to link it up over here. So this bag actually got from a Singapore reseller. They're called Lux Lexicon. They have a store at Palai Renaissance. I got this in December 2021. But this bag is actually from the 19S collection. And I have no idea, I, I mentioned it in the video but I have no idea why I didn't try looking for this bag uh, when it came out in 2019 simply because at the time of launch I was actually in Europe so I could have technically looked for it but I'm not sure why I didn't so this is uh, all encrusted in imitation pearls there is a slight chevron pattern uh, running through the entire bag itself so this bag is actually fully lined with leather on the inside and then on the outside the pearls are actually stitched onto like satin I believe so yes I really really like this bag I feel like it's very good for like occasions um, that I just want to jazz things up and this bag is such a conversation piece like anyone who uh, Love Chanel will know about this bag. It's priced ridiculously on the pre-love market. I believe it's almost like five times what it's worth right now. I was very lucky to have been able to purchase it at um, the supposed increased price which is still not a lot. It's probably like just a smidge higher than the retail price. Um, so I got really lucky there. I believe if you try searching for this bag on the pre-love website, it's going to be about 20 odd K. Um, I'm just waiting for the day like this bag actually hits 50 to be very honest because this is such like a rare commodity. Um, so I'm very thankful that I have this in my collection and it's my holy grail bag. So after I got that mini, I feel like I wanted to still get like a small uh, mini bag and I was on the hunt for it so I did talk about this in my previous uh, unboxing of this bag and it's none other than this uh, ombre colored bag I don't really know what to call it but I call it my ombre bag <laughs> my ombre mini it has sparkles all over it it's super super pretty but I think the sparkles doesn't pick up on the camera itself so if you see this in person you see like small flecks of like sparkles inside so so pretty this is in goat skin um, and it comes with I believe uh, matte gold hardware as well and on the inside it's just a typical uh, mini bag size if you compare the pearl mini with this bag I would say that the pearl mini is just a smidge larger than this bag even though it's like similar in sizing if you place it like that you can see that it pops up a little bit more for the pro mini i think it's just like a customized size for the pro mini and then this one is your classic mini sizing so this bag i got in january 2021 uh, i got it in store at nbs and it took me like a good whole year to open this up because like i just needed some reason or some occasion to justify this little beauty over here so i recently unboxed this i'm going to place the unboxing link over here so you can go and see it but i have been carrying this out and she is so gorgeous and so pretty i love her a lot so this is my ombre mini that i have um, from chanel and then moving on to my last and final bag in my Chanel collection. It is none other than my Chanel Deauville over here. This is in the beige stripe version and it has like caramel handles. And I think this is in the large size. Um, I have been looking for this particular 
model for a really long while uh, because I only want this in this colorway <laughs> I only want it in this colorway because I think that this is the prettiest Dovio colorway out of all and it's just so so pretty it comes with like these little stripes I'm not entirely sure which collection this was from so if I find it I'm going to place it on the screen below so I know Jazwee Lu has this bag as well and she absolutely loves it there is this other girl I think from Australia called Caitlin who has this as well and I really really have taken to it it's so so pretty um, so yeah I really really like this bag I'm not sure if Alyssa Lenore used to have this and then she sold it so yeah I really love this bag and it's now uh, my travel bag sometimes when I travel other than taking the Longchamp I do take this as well um, because I just find it really really easy for travel with these two straps and it fits everything it fits my laptop inside it fits all my essentials that I need to bring on board inside so yes I really love this bag a lot and it's my final Chanel bag that I have in my collection so for this bag it's actually pre-loved I got it on carousel uh, I think sometime in June 2022 after I was back from uh, my Paris trip actually uh, I managed to find it online for some weird reason and I was like okay okay I'm gonna get it because I've been searching high and low for it and if I see it I'm just gonna grab it and the girl she mentioned that she doesn't even use this that much because uh, shortly after she bought it then COVID hit and then she didn't bring it for like office meetings and all that because she had to stay at home so if I'm not wrong I think this bag from what she mentioned came out before 2020 for sure so yes I really like it a lot so this is my bag so that's all for my Chanel collection. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed this video, do remember to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!